Hey guys, what's up? I know I've been talking a lot about Gcash's G-Invest, and as shared previously, I've had a bit of problems with this, but now I think I'm a total convert. And so far, I've only talked about 2 out of the 5 available funds that you can invest in. So why do I want to talk about this? I find it fascinating that with Gcash's G-Invest, you can already build your portfolio of diversified investments just with a few thousand pesos. I really like it that Gcash and Atram are doing everything possible so that you can start investing with very little money. Just for comparison, banks would offer similar funds, but you would need at least 5,000 pesos to go into some funds. And as mentioned previously, you would even need at least 50,000 pesos to invest in foreign index funds. With Gcash and Atram, they've really scaled it down. So with all these funds available via Gcash, how do you decide how you would split your money? Let's find out. 70-30 if you're going to take anything away from this video, please keep that ratio in mind. This is actually the age-old ratio that investors try to follow. 70% gets allocated to stocks and 30% gets allocated to bonds. Now with Gcash, you're not directly investing in stocks or bonds, but the UITFs, the Unit Investment Trust Funds that they have, would already approximate this so you can apply the same principle. So for me, personally, and by the way, I'm not a professionally licensed financial expert, take my advice with a grain of salt. For the 30% comprising of bonds, I would actually invest this in the ATRAM Total Return Peso Bond Fund. Now this bond fund has performed 2.3% returns over the past year. If you compare it to the other bond fund that Gcash has, it's the ATRAM Money Market Fund. The returns of that is really low at 0.43%. So between the two, I would choose the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. And moving on with the 70% that you would invest in stocks. This is where it gets interesting because with Gcash's G-Invest, you can put this in both local and foreign stocks. So how would I split it? I would say I would put 30% in the Atram Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund. So those are the local index funds mostly composed of Ayala, Low, Blue Chips. Now the remaining 40%, I would put in the foreign index funds. Since there are two, I would split this equally. So that's 20% for the Atram Consumer Trends Index Fund. And the other 20% would be for the Global Technology Feeder Fund. So let's review that. 30% for the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. Another 30% for the Atram Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund and 20% each for the global funds that Atram is running. So what's really the point? Why do I split the 70% between local and foreign stocks? Well, if you check the numbers, the local index fund has returns of 10% in the last year, while the two foreign funds have returns of at least 40 to 50%. Based on the past year alone, your money might be better invested in the foreign funds. So what's the point of all this? Why do you have to diversify your portfolio? Well, for me, it's just hedging my bets. I'm not really here to monitor the markets daily, and it's just best practice to be hedging your bets. So you might be also thinking, why not just put all of it between the local equity fund and the foreign index funds? Well, best practice would also show that it's good to retain that 30% for something quite safe, such as the bond fund. The bond fund actually assures you that your money will be quite accessible if ever you really needed it. If there was an emergency and you needed some of your funds, these bond funds are safer, less subject to volatility. As you see, the returns are actually very minimal, just 2% over the last year. It's practically a savings account. It's a glorified savings account. You should anyway put some money in it just so you're diversified because if you don't want all of your money in the stock market, you may be caught with some bad timing and you may need your money and the market is unfortunately down then. Then you might be in the red, you might be in the negative. That's why it's always good to have this diversification just so you have better chances of growing your money especially over the long-term period. And just for reference, I actually have money and bond funds with BPI, and it's not really exciting, but over four years, the returns there are over 10%, so that's better than savings account, even better than a time deposit. So yes, this is something that, that you should do so you're not completely at a high risk with the money if you put all of it in stock funds. So for example, you can have a diversified portfolio 
probably for something as low as 5,000 pesos. 30% of 5,000 pesos is 1,500 for the Atram Total Return Peso Bond Fund. Another 1,500 pesos or 30% again for the Atram Philippine Smart Equity Index Fund. And you would put 1,000 pesos each for the Atram Foreign Index Fund. Do you have to do this all at once? Not at all, actually. What's good with keeping this model in mind is that you're able to put a little at a time so you would have some good fundamentals or just a basic investment principle on where you should put your money, maybe every payday, maybe every month, maybe every quarter, so you know how to split your money through these different investments. Some with high-risk funds and some are in very safe, so you balance it out and you give yourself a better chance of really making it good in the future. Thanks again for watching guys. If you've liked this video, please don't forget to like, comment, and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Thanks again and happy investing!